Fiat has called off the proposed merger with Renault before the car really got out of the garage. Fiat Chrysler is blaming the French government, uh, which is Renault's biggest shareholder. Anna Stewart is watching. The, the, the shares of Renault are down 6% in Paris. But why did the French government say no? <laughs> It was really interesting, Richard. We knew there were some issues that the French government would have. There would be certain demands. For instance, they wanted to make sure jobs in France were protected, plants wouldn't be closed. They wanted to make sure that even though their current 15% in Renault, which would have been diluted to 7.5% in the overall merged company, they wanted to make sure that they had a seat on the board, that they had the power of veto over executives, maybe a headquarters in France. But it is surprising that these problems were felt to be insurmountable already, and we weren't expecting this result. I was actually expecting to talk to you last night, Richard, expecting to say the Renault board met and they voted through the deal and it's moving on ahead. Nissan played a role in the issues here and from what I understand, yeah. um, they wanted to ensure the Renault-Nissan deal wouldn't or alliance wouldn't fall apart. This was a crucial part. They couldn't guarantee this, but apparently it was all, everybody just ran out of time to decide. But I don't understand why they ran out of time, Richard, because you're right. I think the Nissan issue was a massive one. The French government put so much value on the Renault-Nissan alliance, and it's already under strain since the former chairman, uh, Carlos Ghosn, has been under arrest in Japan. We know this. We know that Nissan was lukewarm at best at the idea of this merger. But, you know, the French finance ministers in Tokyo over the next few days, the G20 meetings, expecting to meet with Nissan, I don't understand why it happened so quickly, and I think it's taken a lot of analysts by surprise. But I would say, Richard, before I go, the statement from Fiat says that the conditions, the political conditions in France, aren't currently uh, right for this merger. They use the word currently, which makes me think the door may still be ajar. But what is interesting, I think, Anna, about that statement, it was a sort of a very honest appraisal of, well, we had a go, the French didn't like it, and we're off. Quite. And the French government have since come out with various sources saying that they did everything they could. They were very coherent in their approach. And we had Renault saying they're very surprised and disappointed in this result. By all means, I mean, it's been a disappointing result. I would say Fiat shares haven't moved much today at all. And I was very interested to see that Peugeot shares were up. There's big thoughts now that maybe Fiat's future partner ah, won't, be, uh, ah. won't be Renault, it could be Peugeot. And Peugeot is also obviously got the French government issue, but it doesn't have the Nissan problem.